In celebration of Beltane, in today's video, I'm creating an inky illustration of the green man. Hello to all you lovely and wonderful people. I am Lynette. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Whilst collecting some kindling for the wood burner from my wood store in my garden, the whole section was awash with budding leaves and bluebells. And then I noticed our own green man statue and suddenly felt inspired to create my own using my beautiful new glass pen and inks. I began by sketching out my design in a standard HB pencil, first into an A5 Pink Pink watercolour sketchbook. As this was the first time using these kind of inks, I didn't want to use more pricier paper whilst I was just experimenting. However, the quality of the paper of these really affordable brand of sketchbooks are fantastic at 270 GSMs and I can't recommend them enough. And I'm in no way getting paid by Pink Pig to say that, that's just my own opinion. Initially, I'm just using two shades of green ink and I'm going over some of my pencil lines. The inks in the set that came with the glass pens don't have any specific names for the colours of the inks, but the two shades of greens they provided were a darker bluey green, which I'm currently using, and then a more yellowy fresh green. My plan is to go over my pencil lines with the glass pen in sections, working on a small area, a bit at a time, so that whilst the ink is still wet, I can then go in with a small, cheap watercolour brush. I don't want to use any of my nicer brushes in case the ink causes any damage to them in any way. Um, and then I'm going to blend the ink with some plain water, letting the ink flow into the water and softening the lines that I've just created with the pen. And treating the ink like watercolour paint to hopefully create that beautiful, watery, dreamy aesthetic. I continue to go over any of the lines with the blue-green until the reserve of the ink on the glass pen has run out so that I don't have to waste any ink. Once that reserve has run out, which is held on the tip of the spiral bit of the glass pen, I can then give it a quick wipe with some kitchen paper and then dip it into the other shade of green and start building up some different tones within the illustration. And I continue to draw small sections with the glass pen and then soften with water and a brush. So what is Beltane? Beltane is the Gaelic pagan holiday and one of the eight Sabbaths, a May Day festival traditionally held on the 1st of May which celebrates the spring at its peak and the coming of summer. Today, Beltane is celebrated by modern pagans and nature enthusiasts around the world as a way to connect the ancient wisdom and honor the changing seasons. The green man is found in many forms throughout history. He is to be found in many different guises, but the common feature is the face covered by foliage, often sprouting from their mouths. He is often found in carved wood or stone in medieval churches and cathedrals. Some people suspect that he was a bridge between the new beliefs of Christianity and the pagan beliefs it replaced. Evidence for this crossover of religions could be assumed from the sighting of Christian churches at the site of pagan and sacred places. The term Green Man is modern in nature, dating back to 1939 when Lady Raglan published an article in the Folklore Journal. He has appeared as Jack in the Green and there has been a revival of these appearances around the date of Beltane or May Day every spring, marking rebirth and the start of the cycle of growth. I'm sure that the Green Man means different things to different people in this day and age. To many he represents a figure who is an environmental guardian, the keeper of the forests and woods. Unfortunately, much of the significance of the Green Man is no longer widely known, but he was a very important being to our ancestors. So back to the illustration, I'm using the yellow green as the highlights and then the bluey greens for the darker tones. And I'm merging and mixing the two tones together to create a more organic look. You may have noticed that when I add the water to the ink, the pen lines that I have made to create the um, veins of the leaves do lose their strength, but that's okay. Once I've added all the color and the contrast to my green man, I'm going to go over any of the lines that are needed to add detail. But for now, I'm going to continue doing all the line work for the leaves and then blending the ink with water, mixing the two shades of green as I go, making sure to leave some negative space because I wanted to add some berries to my green man.
all the berries, I decided to make them orange with yellow highlights. So I used yellow ink first, allowing the ink to dry completely before adding any orange. I didn't want the two inks to blend as I would lose all the yellow highlights to the stronger pigments of the orange. With the 0.1 sepia fineliner from Unipin, I start to add little twigs with buds and begin to bring back some of the details that were lost when adding the water to blend everything. The reason why I decided to make my berries orange and yellow is because I wanted to represent the Beltane fires that are lit in symbolism of the growing power of the sun in spring. Hope you enjoyed today's video if you did then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you could do me a huge favor and leave a comment because it really does help my channel out if you'd like to support my art and my channel and if you haven't already then please hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can be updated on future videos I have a new sketching video coming up over the next couple of days so keep your eyes peeled and in the meantime take care have a blessed Beltane and hope to see you in the next video